Kia ora and welcome to Tasman Travels. In this episode, we continue our journey through the remarkable Taranaki region. We take you from lush rainforests surrounding Mount Taranaki to some stunning stretches of coastline like no other. If you're new here, we're Jordan Tom. We travel full time in our camper around our beautiful home, Aotearoa, New Zealand. If you like this video and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Pukiiti is a garden of international significance, not too far out of New Plymouth. It sits in a gap between two sections of Egmont National Park, to the northwest of the main cone of Mount Taranaki, on a saddle between it and the small Kaitaki Range, stretching towards the coast. The garden, named for the Pukiiti, literally Little Hill, lava dome which is nearby, it is listed as one of Taranaki's top ten visitor attractions. Misty Knoll. Leave the busy world behind and escape into Misty Knoll. Yeah, so we want to go this way up here to the summit. Pocchetti Summit. Founded in 1951 by William Douglas Cook and Russell Matthews, Pukiiti is now one of the country's top rhododendron gardens, run by the Taranaki Regional Council. The property covers 360 hectares and includes 26 hectares of gardens set within original and regenerating rainforest, with a total of 21 kilometres of walkways. Hey! Hey! So we've just come down the Paketi summit. Just been up to the top. It's a good little walk, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we're just camped um, just across the road um, in the car park, um, surrounded by bush. Um, it's a nice little freedom camp, really quiet. And there's toilets here, even sh hot showers, I think. Facilities are great. It's a really cool place. Yeah, there's so much um, information and signage around. So you can really learn about the area and so many different tracks. Oh, I just thought I'd show you the campground. Just the gravel car park, but it's literally cut out from the forest. Um, so when you come here, it's a narrow, windy road, so um, probably no big rigs. Um, or if you are coming here in a big rig, just be careful um, on the road. We're on our way to New Plymouth. Yay! I think there's quite a bit to do there. Um, so we'll, we've got washing to do and bits and pieces. Um, 
So I think we'll stay there for a few nights. Now we did visit lovely New Plymouth and spent a good few days there, but we're absolutely gutted to say we have lost pretty much all of the footage we took. From the NZMCA park we stayed at to the great freedom camps around the lake. We visited the Govert Brewster Art Gallery, Len Lyre Centre, which is an absolute must visit. And we had an amazing experience with the folk at Juno Gin. Again, a must, must visit. We're so gutted we can't share this with you. Hopefully it will randomly appear somewhere. Kia ora. So um, yesterday afternoon, we decided to come into Egmont National Park, um, up the windy road. And we camped in the North Egmont car park. Really, really peaceful. And then there's the mountain. Beautiful views. Much quieter than the other campground in the park. Yeah, this is the quietest one we've been to. And all the walks start from here. So this morning, um, we're going to do the Victoria Loop, I think Veronica. it's called, or oh, Veronica Loop. Um, but we'll have, we'll go into the visitor centre and just um, see what they recommend as well. Beautiful day. So we're just walking up the first bit of the Veronica Loop track and it's just loads of stairs upwards. Um, the whole thing is 3.5k. You go to a lookout just past the loop, which is what we're doing now, um, to get above the tree line out of the forest. So in a second we'll be in the alpine environment. And then, yeah, she, the lady at the visitor centre said, you can just carry on and have a look. So we'll just see how far we get. We've reached the end of our walk, and this is the view. Me. Jordan. <laughs> it's beautiful. So we've gone a bit past the lookout, off of the loop track. Camp. Yeah, we went a bit further than the lookout, um, just round the corner, just because it's such a nice day. <coughs> um, yeah, only take, took us, what, 50 minutes to get here.
windows and dirty windows. <laughs> hey, so we're at the um, Three Sisters campsite and it's really miserable outside. So I've just started cooking and just cut up a lot of veg. We've got some beetroot noodles reduced from packing uh, from Countdown. Um, they're really nice. And also some hockey fillets. I think they're We've got some um, seasoning on as well. So I'll just fry it all up and see what the result is. Yummy, 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 I, I got, got fish in my tummy. Feels mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad, is it? Good morning. It's about half seven. And an elephant on the beach. Ah. Half seven in the morning, Tom's just doing some fancy drone stuff. Um, it's so early, I can't remember where we are, but it begins with a toy. Um, I'll put it in. But look at this, it's stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's Elephant Rock. Um, I'll put in if it has another name as well. And there's three sisters. And this is gorgeous. And we just camped there in the domain, Freedom Camp. And what a way to wake up. Oh. Just a wee way down the road, the coastline continues to wow us. This area of New Zealand is so underrated. And we love it.
Um, so we drove into Stratford and we was going to stay there, um, but there's not too many um, options um, for camping. So we thought, let's give ourselves a view. So we drove up to um, the Stratford Saddle, I think it's called. In the east entrance of Taranaki National Park, there's Mount Taranaki. The views here are just epic. I think we're like um, 1,150 meters high, so it's quite cold. And yeah, we just wanted somewhere to camp. That was scenic. It's a huge car park. And the only thing is um, it's known for boy races. So hopefully we won't get too many of those tearing up the car park. Tomorrow we're off. We're not doing any walks here, I don't think. We just wanted somewhere to camp. So we'll head off um, and we're going to do the Forgotten World Highway, um, which is meant to be a nice scenic drive through valleys and that. So that should be cool. Um, well, you'll know we all love a view. <laughs> Look at this. Tom's just out there taking some photos. Ooh, if you should bow your head, let it be to a lofty mountain and dirty windows. Yeah, lucky. 